Hey friends, it's Ann Thomas with today's Two Minute Thought. A man and his wife were shopping at a mall and a shapely young woman in a short, form-fitting dress strolled by. The man's eyes followed her and without looking up from the item she was examining, his wife asked, was it worth the trouble you're in? <laughs> And that's the question we need to ask ourselves because we all face temptations, even Jesus was tempted. After fasting for 40 days, the devil took him to the top of a mountain and offered him rulership that he was already positioned for. But he had a cross to bear first. And that is the strategy of the enemy when it comes to temptation. He wants us to claim now what God has already promised us in the future. Or he wants us to claim something that God says is not ours to have. So what's got to die in your life so the enemy can't tempt you? Is it your pride, self-ambition, laziness, an addictive behavior, sexual immorality? I often look at people with awesome bodies and I think, boy, I wouldn't mind looking like that. But here's the truth. I'd rather hug my pillow at 5 a.m. in the morning than be in someone's gym. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. But don't worry, God's dealing with me on that. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13 says, the temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you're tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. When it comes to temptations, remember, you're not alone. God will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you can handle. And he always provides a way of escape so that you can endure. What does endure mean? It means to keep going and keep doing what pleases him. This is Ann Thomas with today's Two Minute Thought.